What is up guys, this is Hilo Sun here today with not a let's play but a let's test. This is Tom Clancy's The Division for the three day open beta. Now I was glad that I got a chance to test this out just because to see what it's all about. Now I'm going to explain my thought on the game. Personally, I do not like it because it's a third person shooter. Those are not my thing. I am bad at them. Very, very, very bad at them. Now. This game though is it's a good third person shooter. I'm in my opinion a lot of people will love this game. I just I don't because I'm bad at it. I am very very bad at it. It's not that I died 90 million times. It's just that I do not kill anything because it's hard to get a headshot in third person view when you're used to first person sniping for like the entire time. And the scopes in this game kind of suck. I don't know if it's just cuz it's low level and you can't get certain stuff cuz of the beta. Whatever it is. Anyways. Alright, um, as you... Okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, they gave us free stuff every day. Alright, so we're gonna head to our base operation. Now this is a newer thing. The map is really cool. And the way it works is a lot of fun. Because it's actually really easy to use. Did I mark that or no? No, I did not. There we go. And again, like the controls are really easy to use. It's just a third person shooter. I'm not fond of that. Now, I got some really good weapons because I, I crunched out four or five hours of this game so far, I think. But I got two of the, two of the only weapons that realistically damage enemies. Because this game, so far, I've noticed like Tom Clancy's third person shooters are notorious for half a mag to kill someone who's in a t shirt and sweatpants. Um, yeah, in real life, you would take one bullet. Is it gonna attack me? Yeah, it's gonna attack me. I did it in self-defense, guys, I swear. I didn't just kill a dog, like, for no reason. I, I swear. Now, oh, crap. Um, this game is really cool, too, because, like, you have civilians. Like, if, if she needed help, it would put an icon above her, and I could give her something if she needed help. Like, let's say she was starving or cold or something. You can give her clothes or whatever, and they'll give you, like, cosmetic items, which is pretty cool. The way the cosmetics work is pretty cool in this game too. I like how all that stuff works. Uh, the combat is pretty realistic. Is this dog dangerous? Is it dangerous? Just, just back off, doggy. Oh no, it's dangerous. Crap. Yeah, if it, like guys, I know it seems bad, but like if I walk past that dog, it will come up behind me and like pin me down and just like I had it only happen once. I don't know if it's like something that like where you have to aggro for them first or whatever, but. The dogs are pretty dangerous, like sometimes you'll go around the corner and in the alleyway, you'll see a lady and a man, like a probably married couple, brother and sister, whatever the story is, and they'll be cornered by a dog that's ready to kill them and you save them, they'll give you give you a reward for saving them. Alright. Are we going to see any actual action on the way here? Like... Alright. Um, I'm gonna pull up my LMG. This is another weapon that only does realistic damage. The shotgun will kill people in two hits, which again is super unrealistic. But the LMG is pretty much so much damage, one hit, one kill. And the reticules and everything is different. I'm also gonna show you guys towards the end all the way that you can mod and stuff. Modding they made super simple. I mean, it's a lot of fun. And the way they did PvP is pretty balanced. Like, I got no issues with PvP. Because the way it works is if you kill someone in PvP... Oh wait, we got enemies. Need there goes one. Oh, you're gonna play that way, huh? I also have sticky nades that I use a lot. Another one bites the dust, and ooh, loot. Uh, safety gloves, yes. Alright. This this shotgun's better than most, so it actually kills with one hit. But yeah, so that's how the combat works. This is a cover-based game, so like in a, a fight fight, like... That's considered a small fight in the bigger ones. Like, the mission ones. Not the free world kind of roam thing. Like, oh, starving civilian. See, here we go. Give one energy bar, yes. And I got simple cargo pants. Alright. Well, I think now is a better time, as good a time as any. Anyway. So this is your like menu. So you have abilities, which are very limited due to beta. And this is what I have access to. Like I can't get anything else. 
Um, you, so you got map, intel, um, now your inventory, most of these items are like armor based and whatnot, so 14 armor, that's that I got for gloves and all that stuff. Some of them have perks, like my pistol, if they are down to 30% of their health, it does double damage, so basically, you know, finish shot. Um, this is basically stats of what you're skilled at, like, so are you better combat, or are you better medic, whatever. Um, I do not understand this quite yet, I think this is just base inventory. Now, appearance, these are all the cosmetic items. Now, these are all things I've picked up, and they're kind of hard to get, so I'm wearing modern military pants. I can wear these now. See? New pants. And, you know, there's like different coats and stuff. Now, I feel like there should be a little bit more as cosmetics, but again, it's beta. They simplified the game just so you can show for media purpose. And I still like it. I think this is a, it's a beautiful game. Personally, I don't like it because it's third person. Well, it's not, that's not a good reason to not like the game. It's, it's, it's just called, oh, I've passed where I need to go. I'm just not a third person shooter guy. It, this is just the truth. The game is beautiful. There's like no loading screens except for when you fast travel and you first load up into the game. I'm impressed with that. Oh, I can't walk there. Dang it. I'm impressed with that because this game, like, we have access to one tenth of the map. Like, I mean, this is ridiculous. And they already said, like, I read DLC content. Anything past this line, they're going to add to that with DLC content and there's going to be stuff over here too. And it's pretty ridiculously huge. I mean, this is impressively huge, and no loading screens, it's nuts. But again, the, how they balance PvP. If you kill someone, that, so like, if you kill someone, you get marked as a bad guy, right? Like, you get a skull above their head, you're, you, you're, you're disavowed and you're rogue. You can kill rogues and not become disavowed, and you get actually bounties for doing that, which is good. You know, good for you. Because then you can, you know, actually do PvP and not be like the bad guy, but, you, you know... Getting this about is is bad news, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be honest with you. And when you kill someone, you take their stuff. So you you don't like lose. Is that a got stuff? Um, oh, is it like already in my inventory? Because I'm stupid. Oh yeah, it was already in my inventory, but it didn't tell me because what I have is already better. All right. But all right. Now let's see what do they got for sale. Um, all stuff I don't want. But yeah, so it's balanced because if if I kill someone, I take the stuff that they've earned, like not not stuff that they earned outside of the zone, but in the dead stuff earned in the PVP zones. Um, you lose if you die, and other players can take it. And if you're disavowed already, it actually gives them extra bonus random loot, which is pretty nice. And to actually get it out, they can't just leave the dead zones and, you know, walk out of the PvP areas. They have to go to a helipad. Like, there's a couple different spots you can call in a helicopter. And then you gotta attach it to a tether that's hanging from the helicopter and defend it. So you gotta, like, get there, call the helicopter, skyline yourself, and wait for a few minutes. Like a minute and a half, I believe it is. For them to show up and get your stuff. And then, once they're finally there, you have to wait for another 30 seconds for them to take your stuff out of there because you can die but chances are if you die they're gonna get to your loot in time and um, they're gonna take it off the tether and get their stuff back or someone else's stuff and you want to be really careful about that all right what do we want to do now I want to let's go here now there's stuff called electronics and they're like upgrade components but you know beta we can't upgrade stuff but it's a beautiful game I like how PvP is balanced I had, it's a, it's a lot of fun, it's just, again, third person, not my jam. If it was Destiny, or Planet Side or any of those games, oh, woo wee, I'd be having the time of my life, it's just, oh, um, again, world barrier right there, do I have to go through here? Yes, I have to go through here. Alright. And, the way it works is really cool, I like the abilities, you know, critical hit chance when I highlight the world around me, kind of a neat thing. Looting system is first come, first serve. I like that. It's a, it's a breath from the everyone gets everything because that means you really have to fight for what you want. You know, just no... Like, if I was in a squad and we were all here, if I opened this chest, until this chest resets, which would be a while, while away, no one on my team would be able to open that chest. Like, they could open it, but there'd be nothing in it. 
And sometimes you go through an area expecting to find loot, and it's already got like someone's already picked through it. And I like that because you know again it, it means like you can't like just farm for stuff. You know you can't just go in and out of the building and get a million things. You actually have to go around looking. And I like how it works. You know it's like not broken. And sometimes you'll open something like I just did there, and there was nothing in it. Um, let's see. And there's also multiple ways in and out of buildings and, like, rooms and stuff. And it, like, kind of marks stuff for you so you know where things are. Now, these things, that means there's something there, but because I have the maximum type of that in my inventory, so it might be, like, water or food, I might have the th allotted three bottles of soda you're allowed to have that you can give to people. And this is usually like munitions or explosives or I can't get any because I already have the maximum number. It's probably some sort of grenade. You also can find lockpicks and you got to use those to get into certain areas. Now I probably just wasted that lockpick, but you know that's not that's not too bad. Um, yeah, like right here. What do we got over here? Oh, wait, look, are those bad guys? Yep, they're bad guys. Oh crap, reloading, reloading, reloading. Yeah, combat's good. I like how it works. It's a lot of fun. Um, you can jump fences and stuff too. Like, I don't think I can jump this one. Um, especially since the door is open. Like, this one I know I can jump right here. But, a lot of fun. Really well made game. I'm looking forward to coming out. Not my kind of game. But still, a really good game. See, because I was at the range, it took two shots, but... Still, a lot of fun. Really worth it. Um... I might be doing some let's plays with this some, with some of my friends after I'm done with the beta stuff. I don't know. Like I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna play it because I'm just I just I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really hate third-person shooters. I'm bad at them. Like I'm doing okay right now. But that's because I got some of the higher level stuff with some of my friends and I kind of staying in the lower level areas and I didn't go into a dark zone and get wasted in PvP because people in dark zones are usually working in teams. And going without a team is suicide. But that's my take on the new Tom Clancy's Division. I think it's beautiful. I mean, the detail is meticulous. Like, and it's not generic. Like, all the areas are really different. Like, some areas feel a little generic, but it's not too bad. It's not like, you know, there's, like, a tree every 10 yards, and it's uniform. Every 10 yards, there's a tree, and basically they're all parallel with each other. It's not nothing like that. The game actually has some verity and stuff going on. But... I will see you guys later on my Fallout, not my Fallout, my um, my Let's Play series of all kinds. Like, thank you for watching, and I want to know what your opinion is, because if you guys want to see this, I will do this game. It's a pretty neat game. Now, like, again, you know, I can't do any of the missions or anything, really, because it's beta, and they have an explicit list of what you can and cannot do for YouTube. And so much of it has already gone, I figured I'd just kind of do a little run around, show you how the game works, how stuff works. All that fun stuff. You know, just kind of show off what's going on. You know, how I got all these awesome weapons and I'm killing low-level enemies. But I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to peace out. And I will be probably doing another another thing or two of this before the beta closes. Because, again, it's beautiful. And I hope you guys like it. In the comment section down, down below, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But in the comment section down below, let me know what you think of this game. And whether or not you want to do other stuff. I'm not, you want to do other stuff. You want me to do other stuff. I will see you guys later.